Okay, recently Microsoft released a security advisory uh, that dealt with local administrator passwords um, in mitigation of uh, past the hash attacks. And that led to the release of a Microsoft Knowledge Base article where they give you the download for the LAPS software, which you can see here. Supported on Server 2003, Service Pack 1 and after. Download either the 64 or 32 bit flavour that you want. Um, one thing to note is the documentation is also downloadable in here separately. Next. Okay. And now the download. This is why I love Internet Explorer. I've now got a click save as for each thing I want to download and tell it exactly the way I want to put it. I love IE. Okay. Okay, so those are the files sat on my desktop. Um, to install the software on a controller or management PC, uh, I've got a server here that's already got the remote server administration tools installed upon it, and I'm going to install everything. So I want the management tools, full fat client, which we'll have a look at in a minute, uh, PowerShell module, which we'll also have a look at, and the GPU editor template. I've uh, previously installed on this machine the group policy management console snapping. You'll see why in a short while. So that's installed on the management machine. So what I'm going to do now is deploy the software out to the machines that I want to control the local admin password on. So I'm just creating a share on this machine. Uh, I'm going to put a copy of the software within this share so that I can deploy it by group policy. I'm just going to stick a dollar on the end there to make it a hidden share. And I'm going to grant domain computers read access to that share. So I've got read access for domain computers. You can remove everyone if you want. I'm just going to leave it in for the purpose of the demonstration. Apply, click OK, and I'm also going to add those in on the NDFS permissions. So add in to make computers in there. And there by default, we'll have read and execute. So I'm going to copy exactly the same MSI install file that I used to install it on the management machine into my folder here. You don't have to deploy this by um, group policy. I just think that's an easier way of doing it. You can actually install it manually on the client. You can also install it with a forward slash quiet switch so there's no user interaction. And by default it only puts the management software on. But I'm going to link a group policy here to the root of my domain that will deploy the software. A new package to deploy. Uh, for anybody who's not done this before, don't browse to it on your machine. You need to put in the UNC path to the share that you created. Remember that my share is a hidden share, so you'll have to stick the dollar on the end. So if I hit backslash, I should see my install package. There it is. I always click advanced. Click OK. Uh, there's nothing really much to do on here, uh, but on the deployment tab, I always like to uninstall when it falls outside of scope. Everything else is not really applicable to us. For instance, the upgrades, categories, and modifications. But on the security tab, I'm going to grant the domain computers rights to the software because you can see they're not listed. A 
Click OK, and they've got read, which is all they need. I say there's nothing really else to set up on here. Click OK, and that's my deployment set up to farm that out to my domain machines. Let's close this lot down. If we jump across now onto a Windows 8 machine, you will know that the um, client software has been deployed. If you have a look in Add Remove Programs, or I'm just using the shortcut here, appwiz.cpl will bring me up the same console. If you have a look in Add Remove Programs, you can see that our local administrator password solution has been installed. That's been deployed by Group Policy, so I know it's on my client machines. Back on my management machine, what I need to do now is extend the Active Directory schema. Uh, what it does is it puts a couple of schema objects in. Uh, there are a couple of commands to execute. Before I can execute the command, I need to import the module into PowerShell. Uh, if you have a look in the documentation, you'll see there's the command there. And then I need to extend the schema. That takes a little while longer, but not very long. So those put a couple of extra objects into the Active Directory schema that allow this process to work. OK, so the computers that I'm going to deploy this to are in the raw and on or you. You can see there. It's called Domain Computers. I've got a couple of test machines in there on the test network. I'm going to deploy the solution to them rather than deploy it to everything in the domain, it hit the domain controls, etc. So the first thing I need to do is grant those computers the rights to be able to write to those Active Directory objects. And there's a big long PowerShell command on that, it shows you how to do that. It's all in the documentation. So I'm allowing the computers in the domain computers or you the right to self update that active directory user object and if it's been successful you should just see delegated there now what I can do is I, I can find who has permissions on a particular or you to view the local admin passwords using this fine admin PWD extended rights identity to make computers remember as my OU and you can see by default their system and domain administrators have rights to be able to view the uh, local password now if I want to add in users you will see the PowerShell that I need to execute to do that is to set admin password permission and I'm setting it on an organizational unit. Remember that's called domain computers and I specify what group I want to allow rights to using dash allowed principles. Now I've got a group already set up called help desk so in the domain backslash group name format I can add that in. If you have more than one you can just separate them with a comma. You can see there I've now delegated access to domain computers to that group. Okay to actually last part is I need to set out the client side bits by group policy. So I'm going to create a new group policy now and I'm going to link it to the OU that my computers are in. And this is what's going to send out the settings for the local administrator password solution via policy. So we've already deployed the software. This is going to actually configure the settings on the client machines. You'll notice now within here if you expand policies administrative templates, LAPS, you notice there's another four settings here. Now the last one is the one that actually turns it on. So if I open that up and enable that setting, 
That allows the management of local administrator passwords. Hit previous setting. Uh, this particular policy is if you already have password policies and there's a conflict, conflict how it's going to behave. Uh, that's not applicable to me. Um, name of the administrator account manager. You don't, it doesn't have to be the administrator account. It can be a local one. If you've renamed the local admin account, then it will just pick it up. And that sets the actual password itself. So 14 characters long, 30 days, and how complex the password is going to be. If I apply and OK that, finish with that, finish with that. So to actually view the password for my local machines, I can do that via PowerShell using get ADM PWD password, then specify the computer name that I want to get the local admin password for. In this case, it's PNL win 0 v If I hit return, it will show me the new local administrator password. And to prove it's not smoke and mirrors, the second one is 801. And there's the password for that. Now, you don't have to use PowerShell, of course. As I said earlier, there is a fat client that you can give to your help desk operators. Uh, it's installed, you saw me tick it as an option when we first installed the software. If you look in Program Files, LAPS, Admin Password UI, you can do it in the GUI. So you can simply tap in the client name of the computer you want to recover the local admin password for. Hit Search, and there it is. And once again, with my second PC, search and there's the local admin password for that one. That's us pretty much done. LAPS deployed and configured. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.patenetlife.com.